All right, get this. U.S. spy satellites reportedly capturing images of Chinese ships illegally selling oil to North Korea. And this happening dozens of times in the past few months from companies that were sanctioned by us. So what does this mean for our relationship overall with China now that we have pictures to prove it? Here with uh, more, and uh, including a breakdown of the foreign policy hotspots likely to be uh, prevalent in 2018, Fox News foreign policy analyst Chiron Skinner. Uh, Chiron, first off, when it comes to China, this is damning, right? Absolutely. Um, what's so damning about this is the fact that um, the U.N. Security Council resolution on um, North Korea in September um, prohibits ship-to-ship -ship, um, transfers of um, oil products um, to North Korea. And if China is either looking the other way or outright approving this kind of activity, it puts the Chinese government in violation of that um, Security Council resolution and, in fact, makes it a supporter of um, illegal smuggling. But furthermore, mm -hmm. it makes it a supporter of North Korea's nuclear blackmail program. Right. And the fact that we know about it, that he, what we want the rest of the world to see what we see, which is an interesting ploy, too. North Korea, of course, this is what it's all about with North Korea. If we could start cracking down and letting those sanctions sink in, they were the number one issue for President Trump in, in 2017. Will it be in 2018? Um, yes, it will be. And we, um, in the president needs the Chinese to be an honest broker in this process because most of um, North Korea's um, petroleum products come from um, China. And if China could, could comply with right. the various UN Security Council resolutions, it would absolutely hurt. Um, the um, North Korean regime. Right. So the administration is going to be front and center on both China yeah, well, and Russia's North Korea. Gotta, Russia's got to step up, too. And Russia has to stop. And there's uh, indications that there's some of their uh, nuclear scientists are the ones expediting their nuclear program. Next, when it comes to ISIS, we need to blow them out once and for all out of Afghanistan and destroy them as they head uh, towards Damascus in Syria. Are we going to? Um, yes, absolutely. Um, the military defeat of ISIS is a number one issue um, in the new year as well. There are probably about 1,000, no more than 3,000 ISIS fighters left in Syria and Iraq. But um, the fact that there are any left is, a, is, a, is of concern. Um, the territorial defeat of ISIS is not enough because ISIS has spread to other countries and is doing enormous damage and has the potential to do more. For example, it's in Sinai, the Philippines, Libya, Yemen, parts of the African continent, Afghanistan. These are the hot spots of the world. ISIS is not the only extremist group there, but it's in inspiring those that exist right. and others as well. But the perception was a year and a half ago that they were winning. Not many people think they're winning right now. There were thousands in Afghanistan. Now there are hundreds. And the same thing with uh, in Syria. So at least it's trending in the right direction. And finally, a key move. We decide to send lethal weapons to the Ukraine as they fight on in Russia. Now now they will begin to pay a more of a price, don't you think, the Russians? Absolutely. The Russians are going to face um, a, a level of lethality that they haven't seen in the, um, um, the crisis in Ukraine um, with the U.S. deliveries of anti-tank weapons um, and the U.S. commitment to shore up um, the, the Ukrainians as they attempt right. to um, stay a sovereign nation, in fact. Right. Uh, it's going to be interesting as uh, Vladimir Putin pretends to have an election. Uh, Chiron Skinner, thanks so much. Thank you.